Well, we all value our time with close friends, but chances are we aren't aware of just how important those friendships are in our overall health and well-being. Now, according to friendship expert Shasta Nelson, there are many compelling reasons to spend time with friends, and she joins us now with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to have you on. So we live in a digital age. There's no secret there. But how has the definition of friendship changed because of it? What's important to know is the definition of friendship hasn't changed. At the end of the day, we all want somebody who sees us, who it feels satisfying, and where it feels safe. Those three things have to be present. But how we do those three things, what methods we use, how we express it, that certainly is changing. And so what tools we have at our disposal to do those three things is so important. So like I always give the example of, you know, for consistency, like a friendship, we need the repetition. It used to be that we could just walk across the street maybe and see somebody. Now it's Facebook, it's social media, it's other ways and texting and technology is helping us build that repetition and making sure that we are seeing each other's lives on a more regular basis, which is so important. Right, and so I kind of hinted at, at the fact that it's good for your well-being. What are some benefits of having a, a close friendship and really nurturing it? It's so important. It's important for our immune system. It's important for our mental health, our, our longevity, our happiness. At the end of the day, how loved and supported we feel will tell us more about our health 20 years down the road than any other factor, more than diet, more than exercise, and more than like whether we smoke or not. Crucial. Hmm, it's fascinating. So Friends Day was this past Sunday, but we don't have to stop there when it comes to celebrating with our friends. How can we do it really all year long? Yeah, so Facebook celebrates Friends Day every February 4, and they are keeping the celebration going, so it is not too late. You can go to facebook.com backslash Friends Day and give awards to all your friends if you haven't had a chance to do it yet. I think over 50 million people have already given awards, which is so amazing, but it's fun to be able to go on and say thank you. So Friends Day is all about expressing our gratitude, so you're right. It's not anything we want to just limit to one day. The more we can do it, the more often we can add gratitude, appreciation, affirmation to our our friendships is crucial so important right I like that Facebook is always innovating and sort of getting us closer to our friends again and so you're an expert in this topic and you, you've actually written uh, a few books on it can you tell us a, a little bit about them Yes, absolutely. My book, Friendships Don't Just Happen, is how to meet friends and how to make friends. We are replacing half our close friends every seven years, all of us, which is crazy. So all through our lives, we want to become practiced at making good friends. And Friendmacy is about how to deepen friendship. So it's a lot more about how, why we have to go through conflict sometimes and how we can handle some of the disappointments in friendship and how we, how we get to the place where it feels intimate, not just simply socializing, more importantly. Excellent. Okay, so we can get some uh, insight from those books. Of course, we can celebrate our friends on Facebook. Before I let you go, is there anything else you want to leave us with? I would just reiterate how important positivity is to friendship. It's the foundation. So if I invite all of us to think through today, what's one way I can express gratitude to my friendships? You know, is it just, and it can be as simple as making a post on Facebook. It can be posting a photo of something we've done. It can be having a friend party this month. It can be sending cards in the mail, whatever your style is. What we're aiming for here is reminding us to say, thank you, I'm glad you're in my life, I'm glad we're friends. And that feels good for both people involved anytime we can do it. Great advice. Well, of course, Valentine's Day is coming up, too. That's not just for lovers. It's also for friends to uh, express how much you love them. So I want to thank you so much for all these great tips and for joining us today. Thank you.